Took me so little time to make such critical mistakes. Oh hi, my name is Eva. I am bleaching my hair today. Am I a professional hairdresser? Absolutely not. I have dyed my hair for most of my life, generally with box dyes. That is not what I'm doing today. I dyed my hair once with developer by myself. I did bright red. There's a video of it. If you watch it, be warned, I swore a lot in it. Um, I'd gone through a bad breakup and I was dyeing my hair red. You can imagine what, what ensued. But today we are bleaching and I'm hoping that I will do it properly because last time I gave up very quickly on the concept of brushing or like doing anything right and I just mashed it in there with my gloved hands. Now it worked but I'm not going for full coverage today. I'm trying to do like a balayage thing. In preparation for what's happening today, I did watch Brad Mondo videos because is there, is there anyone else to watch for hair content? Really? Uh, he said brush your hair. He said do not wash your hair before bleaching, which is good to know because I was going to and uh, apparently you're not supposed to. Okay, now I'm going to try to section. I am not great at these things, just so you know. I have the middle split. I'm trying to commit to the middle split. Like after we bleach my hair, I'm going to cut it and see if I can like make this work because I have bangs designed for like sweeping across right now. I look like a stupid moose, but I'm taking it. I feel like I did maybe too many sections. I'm not sure. We've got a little cup. Um, I'm supposed to do two to one. So if I'm putting two ounces of this, I'm gonna need four ounces of developer. Uh, the lady, oh, by the way, I, I went to Sally Beauty, as I always do when I'm gonna do terrible things to my body. Uh, she told me that I would need a 20, not a 30, because she felt that the 30 would be too aggressive for my hair. Um, so, 20 it is. Now it seems like about enough. Might add more depending on how it turns out. Uh, I can tell you decisively though, I will not be mixing with a brush because I tried that last time and it did not go well. So I'm, I'm mixing with a plastic spoon. What I think is funny about going to places like Sally Beauty is that they are designed to sell non-consumer items to consumers. Like the bleach in that that I bought, everything that I bought is like, this is for professionals only. This is for trained professionals. This is for sale direct to salons. I'm like, sure it is. That's why I have it in my bathroom. This person who has no hairdressing skills. That smell is awful. Okay, we've got like a whipped mousse consistency going on here. It'll hold its own, but it will fall with gravity. I feel like that's kind of what I'm aiming for, so. Cause we're getting into it. We're doing the bottom back first. Oh. I think before every piece I want to recomb just to be 100% sure I'm not all clumped up or caught on other sections. Cause like, I am not a professional. Look at that giant piece. Bleach on the hair. This is gonna be super fun cause I can't see what I'm doing. Granted, it's the bottom. So it doesn't really matter so much. Okay, my understanding of the balayage is that you do your layering and then on your tip or the bottom of it, you wanna do what they call full saturation, which is like packing it full of bleach on the bottom here. So that's what I'm trying to do. First section, hopefully done. Okay, get out of here. Oh, I have so much bleach on me already. Okay, I'm gonna do the other back guy, back bottom. Oop, caught on a different section. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, just pulled some of my hair out. Oh, please don't intermingle with the bleached one. Oh no. Okay, it accidentally intermingled a little bit, which I guess is not good because you're not supposed to comb out bleached hair, but I kind of have to. Took me so little time to make such critical mistakes. Last time I was doing this, I had such a hard time working with the brush that like I just gave up on it very quickly. I think one of the differences now is that I paint walls for a living these days. So I have a little more patience uh, just working with any kind of brush to begin with. <laughs> Second section, I think it's done. This is going way faster than I thought it would. That's kind of concerning. <laughs> Good things in life don't come easy. My hair is really thin right now. Like I've lost a lot of hair due to stress. Now because this is a lot closer to my face, I think I want to frame more. So I'm just, I'm gonna go way higher right here. Uh, I am not gonna go right to my root because that feels like a danger zone. I'm noticing something different between this time screwing with my hair in my bathroom versus the time that I was doing it red. And that's at this time, I'm not really angry. Like, I don't feel super angsty. 
And I'm not swearing and jumping around and just being obnoxious. Now, I wish I could say I have like a vision for this part, but I don't. All right, so that's our front. Hopefully that's good enough. I feel like maybe I should crest it a little bit more. Pray for me. Like an idiot, I've gotten bleach all over my face, all over my neck. Um, as, in, as I would. And what else do we really expect from me? Okay, this has been in my hair from beginning to now for about 45 minutes. So I'm going to jump in the shower because it tells me not to exceed 50. So I'm going to do that. Hopefully it is lightened. It doesn't really seem to me like it's lightened, like I checked under the bleach. It looks about the same, but I'd rather wash it out and not melt my hair off. So that's what I'm going to do. I will be back in an amount of time. Okay, I am towel drying because apparently you do toner on towel dried hair. I'm gonna point out that it is past 10 at night and I am normally in bed by now, so I'm getting very tired. My hair is lighter, I can see that. <laughs> We're using Well Up Permanent Liquid Hair Toner Color Charm in T18, it's their lightest ash color. It requires a one to two ratio, but I realized that I read the part was like towel dry, but I do not know how to apply it. So I just have, I gotta Google that real quick. Um, for this next moment, maybe look at my tangly blonde hair. How you doing? Seems like it's pretty much the same thing. We're gonna go section by section and tone my hair. Let's do it. I don't know how brassy it really is, but the lady told me to do it and I'm gonna do what the lady told me to do. Okay, so I need about, how much did I say? 2.8, so just shy of three fluid ounces. It doesn't actually tell you how to use it, but it does tell you that if you have tattoos, and I, I have tattoos, uh, that you might be allergic to it because you have tattoos, so that's weird. Uh, gonna use it anyways, though. Okay, so I have all this toner in. I have a different t-shirt on, I don't know if you noticed. A uh, similar t-shirt, but different. Um, I gotta leave this to sit in for like another half an hour, so I am gonna like charge the battery on my camera, and then I will see you guys later. Okay, if I'm being totally honest, I saw my roots. I have some concerns as to why they are so light, considering I didn't dye my roots. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on there. I was not being very good about filming this, so what I did is I brought it all forward. I tucked it all in real tight in a straight line, and I went chop, and then I did nothing to feather it. And uh, that's how we're going to run it. Alright, my hair is dried. Um, not sure if this is what I expected. It's not what I was going for. Um, the haircut is interesting. Uh, very, it reminds me of being in like grade five again. Like my mom might have cut my hair, but I like it. It feels very, I'm going to say youthful because that's kind of what I was going for with this. I did the Gen Z haircut, I did the hairstyling, and then, I don't know, I really just needed a change in hair color. I was feeling very bored and boring and not very pretty. But I like the hair color. It went a little bit lighter than I was expecting in some areas. Like, in all of my hair, I didn't expect my whole head to become a completely different color. I didn't dye my whole head. You guys watched me. There is still some darkness back here. That's nice. I like having a little bit of depth, but... Anyways, Ryan knows I did all this, but he has not been able to see me throughout this process. The one time he did see me, I had a plastic bag on my head and then my shower cap on top, so. Honey, you want to come see my hair? Sure. You can be honest, just, I might cry if you hate it. Oh. <laughs> want to maybe not be honest. No, I'm kidding, honey. You, you can be honest. You're over here. I'm over here. And if I look over here, I'm going to see something. Yeah. Okay. Come on. You're not on camera until you get, like, oh over here. Oh my gosh. You like it? Wow, it's so light. What's going on with the shower over there? <laughs> Alright, well that is the end of this hair bleaching and cutting adventure. 
I hope that it was a good breakup. I know we've, I've done a lot of hot sauce stuff lately. I know you guys like the hot sauce, but I, I like changing it up a little. I mean, wait, honey, do you like doing hot sauce videos? Yes. That's really why I do hot sauce videos is because it's something we can do together because I am in a relationship, which makes me the worst. Anyways, I'm gonna go play with my hair for a while because it looks pretty. And uh, uh, I'm Eva, if you guys like this video, please hit like, comment down below and hit subscribe so I can see you guys next time.